The Life and Sad Ending of John Spencer John Spencer was born John Speshock Jr. on December 20th, 1946, in New York City, and he was raised in Tatawa, New Jersey. He was the son of blue-collar parents Mildred, a waitress, and John Speshock Sr., a truck driver. Spencer's father was of Irish and Czech descent, while his mother was of Ukrainian and Russian ancestry. With his enrollment at the Professional Children's School in Manhattan in 1963, Spencer found himself sharing classes with such fellow students as Liza Minnelli and violinist Pinchas Zuckerman. He attended Fairleigh Dickinson University but did not complete a degree. Spencer often referred to himself as a dyed-in-the-wool liberal and described Franklin Delano Roosevelt as one of his heroes. Spencer began his television career on The Patty Duke Show and eventually began appearing in supporting roles in feature films commencing with 1983's War Games. He won an Obie Award for the 1981 off-Broadway production of Still Life about a Vietnam War veteran and received a Drama Desk nomination for The Day Room. In 1986, he appeared on Broadway as Dan White, the killer of Harvey Milk in Execution of Justice alongside Stanley Tucci and Wesley Snipes. Spencer became a full-fledged supporting actor with the hit 1990 courtroom thriller Presumed Innocent, portraying a tough veteran homicide detective starring opposite Harrison Ford. The same year, Spencer joined the cast of the television series L.A. Law, playing rumpled, pugnacious, streetwise trial attorney Tommy Mullaney. Spencer's work also extended to video games, portraying the role of Captain Hugh Paulson in the 1995 video game Wing Commander 4, The Price of Freedom. Spencer's subsequent film and television work primarily consisted of supporting roles such as a colleague and friend to Billy Crystal's basketball ref in Forget Paris and a prickly FBI official in Michael Bay's film The Rock. In 1999, Spencer was cast as Leo McGarry on the NBC political drama series The West Wing. Spencer's character was White House Chief of Staff to the fictional U.S. President Josiah Bartlett. Both McGarry and Spencer were recovering alcoholics. Spencer's role in the show earned him the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Drama Series in 2002. After he was being judged on the show's third season episodes, Bartlett for America and We Killed Yamamoto. Sadly, Spencer died of a heart attack in a Los Angeles hospital on December 16, 2005, four days before his 59th birthday. At Spencer's private funeral, his West Wing castmate, Kristen Chinoweth, sang the musical number For Good from the Broadway musical Wicked. Spencer's remains were interred at Laurel Grove Memorial Park in his hometown of Tatawa, New Jersey. At the time of his death, Spencer had filmed two of the five West Wing episodes that were in post-production, Running Mates and The Cold. Spencer's de death was later written into the show's final season, in which McGarry was said to have died of a heart attack on election night. Coincidentally, McGarry had also suffered a near-fatal heart attack in the show's sixth season. Spencer's name remained in the opening credits throughout the remainder of the show.